Okay, so 2025 is just around the corner, and there's only one month away, and I know you guys are bored to death playing Roblox right now, so I'm gonna let you guys know the top 10 upcoming games in 2025. If you guys do enjoy this video or want to see me make a separate video on any one of these games, please let me know, and make sure to subscribe because we are on the road to 3,000 subscribers. We'll be giving 5,000 Robux to any random subscriber once we hit 3,000 subscribers, so make sure to stay tuned for that. Anyways, let's get started. Number 10. At number 10, we have a Bleach game called Bleach Revival. This is one of the only Bleach games coming in 2025 and the only Bleach game I have on this list. The reason why it is so low, it was going to be higher, but then it had an open testing for 24 hours and the results were not good. A lot of people are complaining about how bland and boring and bad the combat was, but nevertheless, this game is going to be really good, I think, when it comes out because the devs seem like a hardworking dev team and they seem like they're going to put some work in the game and make it better. The plus side of this game, it has really good visuals and graphics. It's a story based speech game with a quest line and has a parry block system. The combat obviously needs some work, but it still isn't testing and probably will do another open testing in a few weeks and it might release sometime in December 2024 or January 2025. So it will be coming out this month or next month. And honestly, I'm kind of hyped up for this game. I feel like the devs are going to fix it up, make it a bit better. Next off at number 9, we have Pocket Anime. This is probably one of the most unique anime games you would see on Roblox. The game is all about Pokemon, but instead of catching and battling with Pokemon, you're doing that with anime characters. You could catch different anime characters like Whitebeard, Goku, Krillin, anime characters like that and battle them out, battle gyms, stuff like that. It's exactly like Pokemon, but you can't get copyrighted and it's with anime characters. These anime characters also have different types and just like in Pokemon, they're effective against some types and unaffected against some other types. Personally, I am hyped up for this game more than any other game on this list, but the reason why it is so low on this list, this game has been in development for almost two to three years now and it hasn't had an update on the Discord server in months now. I really don't know when this game is coming out, but I really hope it'll go on testing in 2025 and I think it will. But like you never know with these games, bro. It's been development for ages. Next off at number eight we have is Project Slayers 2. This is probably the most hyped up Demon Slayer game coming to Roblox in 2025. As you guys know, the dev team that worked on Project Slayers 1 or British Project Slayers is making the game Project Slayers 2. That's why it is so hyped up. Since Project Slayers was probably one of the most successful Demon Slayer games out there, averaging around 100k players for a Demon Slayer game, which is outrageous. This game looks pretty finished to me, so I would normally say this game would come out early 2025, but the owner is also working on a different project called Dimensions X, and that's his passion project. So I wouldn't be surprised if he delays Project Slayers 2 so he can work on that game. But honestly, this game is looking really good. It comes out with leaks every two weeks, and honestly, the leaks are looking pretty good. Everything's pretty simplified, and it honestly still looks amazing. Next off we have at number 7 is another Demon Slayer game by the name of Yaiba. This may be a bit controversial that I have Yaiba over Project Slayers 2 but hear me out guys. I honestly think Yaiba is the better looking Demon Slayer game. Project Slayer only has more hype because it's just the bigger game. Yaiba is like a mix of Deep Woken and Demon Fall and Demon Fall is by far my favorite Demon Slayer game on the platform. This game's visuals and graphics are honestly amazing bro like I, I can I can talk about their visuals and graphics for ages no glaze or anything about that but also the combat is honestly top tier as well. The game has been in development for almost two years now, I think. I think even more than two years. The owner has been working on other projects such as Your Bizarre Adventure and Anime Showdown as well. So the developer is honestly very good. The community isn't the biggest. That's why the hype isn't there. But honestly, I think the hype should be just as good as Project Slayers or not even better, bro. There has yet to be a confirmed release date, but I think this will be coming out mid 2025 not early 2025 but i feel like this game still needs some work and i don't think the developer will release it that early since they still have to do a testing phase and all of that so mid to late 2025 i think this game will come out next off at number six we have is holy war x you guys have definitely heard about this game since it's probably one of the most hyped up games coming out with C. but the reason why i have it at number six because the next five games are honestly in my opinion a lot better but let's talk about holy war x 
Holy War X is probably one of the only Seven Deadly Sins games that have, are gonna come out. Seven Deadly Sins doesn't get the love it deserves, in my opinion. The only other game that Seven Deadly Sins that was kind of big was Holy War 3, and it's the same dev as Holy War X, and it was released back in 2020. These devs have been working on this game for a long time, but honestly, the game looks kind of finished now. They haven't really posted on the Discord since August of 2024. But I'm honestly really hyped for this game to come out in 2025, which I really think it is going to come out this year. Its effects and visuals are honestly top tier, just like all these games on this list. The combat looks very detailed, mechanics are good, and NPCs respond very well as you guys can see. And I'm honestly really hyped for this game. I really hope it comes out this year because I feel like this will be one of the biggest games on Roblox if it does come out this year. So coming into the top 5 at number 5, I have a Black Clover game by the name of Clover RPG. Yes, you heard that Black Clover game. We haven't actually had a real Black Clover game and this is why this is one of my favorite games coming out. This is a deep Woken inspired Black Clover game which honestly makes this really hype because I really like the concept of deep Woken, the parrying, the combat system, everything. The visuals, graphics and mechanics and combat all look amazing and especially the map. It all reminds me of deep Woken but it also has its own taste like the Black Clover-ish. It is a storyline game and there's lots of different regions where you can do lots of different storylines. There's puzzles and stuff you could do. There's also a lot of different weapons like Deep Oak and you can pick when you started off the game. But obviously you guys all want to hear about the grimoires. The grimoires look amazing and there's a lot of different magical powers, magic you can use. So there isn't a confirmed release date yet, but in August of 2024, they said the release is still on track for 2024. Their early access phase will run for about a month leading up to a free fold release. The early access will be paid in a Discord shop, which I'm not a big fan of, but the developers have to get their bags somehow. And the early access still hasn't came out yet, and they said it will run for a month, so I'm assuming it may come out this month, the early access, and then the game will fully release in January of 2025. Which is really soon. That's like in a month, guys, bro. That's really soon for this big game. So I'm really hyped for this game. Next off at number four, we have is Jujutsu Infinite. This is the most hyped up Jujutsu Kaisen game on Roblox coming into 2025. And it has a release date. The devs have confirmed the release date will be December and it will be public for a short amount of time. The game is also available on all three platforms. I mean, it is available on mobile. PC and even console. You know how amazing that is? Console and mobile support right when it comes out. They update the game a lot even when it is not even out yet, bro. Like a few days ago, they updated the game and it's not even out. It's only out for testers right now. It has amazing domain clashes and amazing cutscenes. This game honestly feels like I'm playing a console game when I play it. The visuals, effects, and combat are also all top tier. The combat's gonna be crazy, bro. Imagine you have like a four way domain clash in the middle of Shibu, bro. That's gonna be crazy, bro. And talking about Shibu, bro, it looks amazing. The map looks crazy and it's very big and it just gives you the atmosphere of JJK. It's very exciting that we actually have an actual release date for this game, bro. It is coming within this month, bro. You know how crazy that is, bro? This we're gonna eat eating good in 2025 and of December. In our top three at number three, I have anime adventures. Yes, I have anime adventures on my top ten upcoming games since it is coming out back again soon. Anime Adventures has recently been confirmed to be coming back a few weeks ago in November of 2024 and the whole internet Roblox anime community has been going crazy about it since this game used to be so big and it's been shut down for almost a year now. This is one of the most played games on Roblox as it had a few hundred thousand people playing at a time which is honestly crazy for a Roblox game and a lot of games never achieve heights like this. And Anime Adventures, in my opinion, does not deserve the hype it has. But I really don't like these tower defense games. I never played one. I probably played all sort of tower defense. But other than that, but other than that, I don't play tower defense games at all. You would never catch you playing Anime Realms, Anime Adventures, Anime Defenders. I also I all think they're exactly the same. I don't know why people like these games so much, but maybe I should try one eventually. 
But yeah, since it has a lot of hype, I have to put it at number three. The game honestly is like a gambling game, bro. I feel like a lot of people just play to gamble their Robux away, try getting these new like tower defense tools or whatever. I don't really understand concepts of these games of law, but I still have to put it at number three since a lot of you guys are looking for this game. And I know for a fact when it comes out, I think it probably will come out December 2024 or early 2025. It will be averaging a few hundred thousand people. Next off at number two, I have the most popular game in Roblox, Blox Fruits. I know Blox Fruits is already out, guys, but hear me out. Blox Fruits is having an update, and Blox Fruits haven't had an update in over a year now. And I know for a fact this update's gonna make it seem like a whole new game, and it's just gonna be insane. So Blox Fruits is the biggest game on Roblox, no questions asked, in my opinion. That means when an update drops, when it hasn't dropped in over a year, that means Roblox is gonna crash, I think. Because I think Blockstreet is gonna have over a million players the night of the update. And if you guys think I'm crazy, I'm crazy. Because this Blockstreet update to me like a whole new game. People are treated like a whole new game. Because they haven't heard anything about Blockstreet in over a year. They released trailers and stuff like that, but they haven't released a release date yet. And they are gonna be releasing a release date soon, I'm pretty sure. But I assume it's gonna release in December of 2024. Or January of 2025 so that is really soon for this update which is amazing finally at number one we have Rel C I know you guys are all expecting this bro everyone's been hyped for this game this is the most hyped game on Roblox at the moment and I feel like it's deserved as you guys know, Roblox's most popular genre for anime games is One Piece. You guys see One Piece games come and go. The most popular game on Roblox at the moment is a One Piece game, Bloxroots. And Rosie, I feel like it's going to be the best One Piece game. Better than Bloxroots, better than any other game on Blox uh, Roblox. And the only reason why is because it actually represents the anime, guys. Like, Rosie is a perfect imitation on what a One Piece game should be. The visuals, effects, graphics, all that is top tier. Combat is also top tier. And they also add a lot of things from One Piece. Like Conquer Talkie and all that. And I also love how it's a non banded beater game. That means we're not like in blocks, so we just sit down, put an auto clicker on, and just band it, beat the bandits, beat the bandits. Pause. But Rel C doesn't do that. It has a different way to level up and a unique way to level up. The map, the models, everything looks amazing, and I cannot wait for this game. It was supposed to come to a closed community testing in October of 2024 and as you guys know it's November and that still hasn't came out this closed community testing was supposed to be for a paid testing I'm pretty sure and it still hasn't came out so I'm gonna assume it comes out in December or January that means the game's not gonna come out till like March February April but I think like the game is gonna be coming out early 2025 which is honestly very exciting but it's kind of a letdown since it was supposed to come in 2024 and it hasn't but at the end of the day, it's still coming in 2025. So there we have it. These are my top 10 games upcoming in 2025. Obviously, there are many more games coming, but these are my top 10. And I mean, bro, this is a good top 10 list, bro. We are eating well for 2025 in the upcoming few months. Anyways, if you guys do want to join that 5,000 Robux giveaway, make sure to subscribe, like, and comment down your favorite upcoming game of 2025. And I appreciate you guys for watching. Make sure to hit that subscribe button and I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.